Hi everyone, uh, welcome again. Based on previous video, um, I talk about uh, how do you register um, to do the NCLEX test. Now my next one is about what resource do you use to study for your exam, NCLEX RN exam. First point, firstly, you have to go to National Council of State uh, states, uh, state boards of nursing, also known as NCSBN. And uh, <coughs> why do we need to go there? Because NCSBN develops this exam. Um, so um, everything you need to know about the exam, um, it's in this website. Once you're in the uh, front page, um, Scroll down into the middle and then click on test plan. Download that PDF uh, documents. And you want to look familiar with what exams uh, it is, a uh, type of question. Uh, they do have sample question as well. So you have some idea. Um, topic exam as well uh, as being like, um, are they gonna uh, cover like uh, test on pharmacology if yes how many percentage uh, are they going to test you on infection control um, and how many percentage would that appear in the exam um, etc so um, it's definitely like a bible like for this exam you need to know the structure of the everything you need to know is there so before even <coughs> for you to start study you should go to this website and download this document. Let me see. Um, I think the document is called 2019 RN Test Planned English. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Um, just be aware. We, I just realized on the NCSB and website, they are introducing a uh, next generation's uh, NCLEX, um, which is going to roll out around 2023. That's what they say. But keep your eyes on the website because what that means is they're going to replace the old NCLEX RN exam, the current one, and, and, and add an extra feature into that exam. So um, they also have a, a video about it on the website, so go have a look and familiar yourself with it. Now, <laughs> come back to uh, my resource that I use for the NCLEX RN. Um, the free one, uh, mainly I use is YouTube um, Registered Nurse RN. She also has a website, uh, a, a website as well, which you can um, do a free sample questions. Uh, what I like about her is um, um, she's, uh, she's, she's, I think she's such a good presenter. She make uh, compl complicated topics simplified, which is easy to understand, especially for me, who's out of university for 10 years and into the workforce. And then I'm only focused on work in a particular field, not as broad compared to NCLEX I because NCLEX I it's all the topics gonna be tested. So I I'm pretty much have to refresh my knowledge about nursing. Um so she is really really good. It's free as well. So I really like about it. Um and I also have sometimes use simple nursing. Um but I think for the video is good, but I think um, for the questions, I'm not too sure. It, he does have a website as well, so you can go inside and have a look. I think there's, there's going to be free involved with that one, but check with it. But the video itself, I, I really like it. Um, so yeah, that's those two common ones that I use on the YouTube. Then the pay one, because... Um, <laughs> I, I use U World, Hearst, and Kaplan. So I'm gonna break down into each one and like uh, break down and talk about each one and with, 
um, how, why I like about them. So for the U world, it's really good. It contains lots of contents, detailed contents. Um, I like lots of the graphic uh, pictures. It's easy to understand. It's spot on. Yeah, I really like the U world. It's really good. It builds uh, lots of contents about it. Now, um, Hearst, um, I actually only purchased the book, I think, but but then I realized now they also have a live classroom like Kaplan. So they offer a live classroom as well. So you can go have a check, check up on it. Um, again, they do have a YouTube account as well. Now Kaplan, um, I use UWorld and Hearst um, long, long time ago. Um, and Kaplan is the latest one, the last one that I use. I really like it for the fact that there's few few good feature that I like about it is uh, live chat. Um, it's really, the staff are really approachable. They're really friendly as well. And there's a feature of ask teacher. In the ask teacher section, you can ask them any question about the questions that you did which you don't understand or any record video that you don't understand, you can ask them about it. So that's really good. Um, another good feature is the Kaplan has a pre-record video of different topics. It's really, really good. Um, and uh, I feel, because um, it took me a few times to pass the test. I feel that you will and hers and registerness are and um, give me enough content. Like the content is good, but I just don't know how to approach the question, how to analyze the question. So with the couple couplets, uh, besides they having contents enough contents for you as well, they also give you strategy how to pass the test, how to approach the question, how to analyze the question. I think that's. That's what made me pass the test. Um, so yeah, I recommend like if if you feel you have you're confident, you have enough contents, but strategy wise you're stuck on the question. Kaplan definitely, I definitely do recommend Kaplan. Um, also, um, in the website, if you uh, scroll at the front page, uh, right at the front page uh, on the title, there's a click on more and then there's a free practice question that you can practice on and then give a try. Um, and uh, another feature about Kaplan is they also have a um, on the website click on more and then there's a section say international nurse you click that if you register in as an international nurse it's a slightly expensive than the local nurses uh, registration but what that means is it also provides a few extra booklets and laws and uh, features for international nurse. It's a little bit expensive, but I feel that it's definitely worth it for me. So it depends on your budget. How would you uh, how how would you um, allocate? Um, now, two few points I want to say. Um, with the paid resource, you will host and Kaplan. If you don't know which one to pick, I found out that each one has a YouTube account and they do have a sample of the video lecture and video question, which you should definitely go into and have a look at. Because what I'm trying to say is each one study different. Um, uh, someone present a material for some students, it may be easy to grasp, but for other, it might be not to uh, not as easy. So, everyone's um, reading comprehensive understanding of the diff content is different. So, compare these f uh, few resources. Go do some research and then see which one is able for you to understand more better than pick the one that that you like. So. Uh, I would definitely recommend go to the YouTube their account and uh, have, have a look at it.
um, and I think this that's all for the resource and uh, my next video I'll be start focusing on the summary of the inclex rn notes that I did um, instead of what my main goal is instead of uh, providing the content I'll be teaching about how to summarize the content no matter which which uh, resource you use the summarize uh, or the the summarized version will be the same and um, I'm trying to simplify it so that what you summarize will apply to the inclex RN exam no matter in what situation no matter what the question how the question modify but you got your answer there that's what I'm aiming at so see you next time thank you